the whole story has not been given. It has not been given. Who wants to be just like me? In the system full of corpse, they still want me to believe. Believe that I am free and that equality is still guaranteed to people like me. No, I can never be so naive. Smoky mirror so I cannot see. What's the proper protocol when an officer is strangling me? Under what oath allows you to take my breath from me? Ain't no hope for my generation. Ain't no hope in my innocence. I cannot escape this bigotry. Sorry, Dr. Martin Luther King. He and he so ain't so much shit for me. No other racial group has been a slave for American soil. Uh, it's nice to say other people were down, they got up. They were not slaves on American soil. The other thing is that the Negro has had high visibility. And because of the prejudices existing in this country, his color has been against him. If you had to wear my shoes, You'd probably take them off too. Hello, hello. Welcome back. If you enjoyed my first video, hey, thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Happy Pride Month. It's almost over, but I know technically it got moved this year because of coronavirus. It will be in October. So for those of you that don't know, go out and celebrate the Pride parades in October. June technically is Pride Month and in honor of Pride we are going to talk about Marsha P. Johnson. Woohoo! Marsha! The whole point of all this channel is to talk about real black history and maybe black history that a lot of people don't know. So in honor of that, today is really going to be the first day that we talk about black history that a lot of people may not know. I mean, even me. I don't. I didn't know a thing about Marsha P. Johnson and that's not good. That's not okay. We need to really pay attention to our history. But anyways, Marsha P. Johnson, also known as Black Marsha or Marsha Pay It No Mind Johnson, is a very prominent black transgender activist, drag queen, prostitute, and a big figure in the Stonewall Uprising. She was a model for Andy Warhol. She battled severe mental issues. She was homeless for much of her life and worked to really take in and take care of street youth that were also homeless because they were shunned from family for being gay or for not conforming to gender roles. She also was an advocate on behalf of AIDS patients. Marsha was born Malcolm Michaels Jr. on August 24th, 1945 in Elizabeth, New Jersey. She began wearing dresses when she was about five years old and stopped wearing them because she had other children be extremely aggressive towards her and because of that she hid who she was and who she felt she was and who she was comfortable with. At the age of 13, she was sexually assaulted by another boy. She graduated high school in 1963 and immediately moved to New York City with $15 and a bag of clothes. She often referred to herself as gay or a transvestite or as a queen and she used female pronouns. She often was involved in prostitution and was arrested well over a hundred times. She said that she stopped counting after the hundredth arrest. She was 23 years old during the Stonewall Raid. 
So a little background on the LGBTQ community back in the 60s. Same-sex relations were illegal in New York City in the 60s. Gay clubs and bars became refuge for the LGBTQ community and they were a safe place to go to and somewhere where they felt they could be themselves if and be accepted shoes, without having any harm come to them. These establishments were often shut down and penalized for serving alcohol to the LGBTQ community. America felt it was disorderly for homosexuals to gather. In 1966, these regulations were overturned, but same-sex PDA was still illegal. So that's things like holding hands, kissing in public, dancing, all of that was still illegal. A very well-known club or bar that Marsha actually spent much of her time going to and dancing at and performing at was Stonewall Inn, which was in Greenwich Village in New York City. Police raided the bar, they roughed up bar goers, they arrested 13 people including employees and people that were violating gender appropriate clothing. Female officers were taking bar patrons into the bathroom and making them strip to check their gender. Within a few minutes, violence had broken out. The police, a few prisoners, and a journalist all barricaded themselves inside the club. The rioters outside ended up setting fire to the building after a few times breaching the block. There's a lot of different accounts on what exactly Marsha was involved in. Some say that she threw the first brick. She claims she did not. She claims that she came once the riot had already started and joined in. Most of these accounts all agree though that she was seen climbing a lamppost and threw a heavy object inside a bag onto a police car window and shattered it. This led to six days of protests and violence. This entire incident ended up prompting the first gay pride parade, which occurred on the one year anniversary of the Stonewall Riot in 1970. Also in 1970, Marsha founded the Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries, also known as STAR, and it advocated for young transgender people. She started this with Sylvia Rivera. She also housed, clothed, and fed many of these people that she was advocating for. On July 6, 1992, Marsha's body was pulled from the Hudson River. Her death was ruled a suicide, although her family and many people who were part of the movement with her did not agree with this and questioned it. They later reclassified her death as a drowning with an unknown cause. And in 2012, they reopened her case and it is still under investigation. Boom. Is that it for Marsha? If you had to wear Although Marsha was not well known and celebrated during her time as an activist, after her death, she brought a lot of awareness to more than just the LGBTQ community and has been celebrated and researched and talked about more and is getting the recognition that she deserves and hopefully that continues. That is all I have for you on Marsha. I really hope that you have learned something. Please go out, research. I have a website that has more on her organization and information about things that she did that will be down in the works cited. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you like and or subscribe. 